Boy, I think this video is gonna be insightful. <laughs> So this question's come up lately and it's quite a popular one. When I learned other people were sighted, did I ever not believe it? It's a strange question, that one. I mean, you know, when I was little, I don't think I ever remember a time going, I mean, you know what, I think this is all make-believe. You know, because when you're three, four, five years old, you're not really a critical thinker yet. But, you know, it was always kind of the way it was. People, everybody could see and I couldn't. And that was just my world. That was my normal. Honestly, I don't think I remember anybody kind of explaining to me what sight was. My sisters all could do it. My parents could do it. Everybody I knew could do it. Like, I didn't know any blind people. You know, it was just me. But I never thought it was a big deal. I just thought that was the way the world was, you know? This is my family, you know? This is, this is my parents and my sisters and stuff. I mean, of all the people in the world, right, these are the least likely to sort of, you know, pull a trick on me, I would think. They tried to tell me other things. When I was little, they tried to, you know, my sisters tried to tell me I was a girl. And I didn't, yeah, I know. And I didn't, uh, I was like, I don't think so. I think the thing that I couldn't believe was that I was the only blind person, like, in my world. That was the thing that sort of, you know, because everybody could see and I sort of knew everybody could see. You know, because they could do things like catch balls that were coming to them and no one needed to be told. Or... My sisters have walked to the store without a cane or without anything, you know, they, they could just walk by themselves. For me, I had to hold on to somebody to walk to the store. You know, they could catch a ball, they could ride bikes. You know, they, they all taught me how to ride a bike, but, you know, I couldn't do it like they did. I was always bumping into stuff. <laughs> Didn't seem like anybody ever did. There was no reason, as far as I was concerned, to not believe it. Everybody could see and I knew it. Boy, I must have found out that I was different probably you know, four or five, six, somewhere in there, probably four or five. When I started being with other kids, I went to nursery school, you know, it's sort of a, like a daycare when I was four. And I think that's when I really got to know that I was a little bit different from everybody else and that I was, had to be taken care of a little bit differently and watched after a little bit more, you know, so that I didn't get hurt. You know, and that's when I think I started to get it. And then of course, you know, as I got into grammar school, you know, they were all doing stuff on a blackboard and I was doing everything in braille. So then I really knew. That's a crazy question. Somebody asked me if I would know I was blind if no one told me. That's an interesting question, that depends. Am I growing up completely alone? Or am I growing up in the world? Because if I'm completely alone, then no, I don't think I would. You know, as you grow up and you get older and you start to learn about the world, you start to understand the differences between people. You know, when everybody around you can see, I think you'd figure out pretty quickly <laughs> that you couldn't, you know? And I think all the bumps and bruises would give it away too. <laughs> when I was growing up, I think I did ask a lot of questions about sight. I mean, I think I was curious about it. And I think I was more angry, really. I think I was more upset that I couldn't see, you know, because there were things that I couldn't do that the other kids could do. I mean, there was a long time in my life, honestly where I thought if I could see, it would make everything better. It would just, all my problems would go away if I could see. And, you know, it took me a long time to sort of figure that out, but uh, that wouldn't really be the case, you know? If I could see, I'd have different problems, that's all. Problems I can't even imagine. Problems I don't know what they would be, but they'd be different than the ones I have now. What the heck would I make videos about? <laughs> When I first heard this question, I was surprised. I mean, it was so obvious to me. I mean, because this is what I deal with my whole life. But you guys don't know. Like, you guys don't know how I grow up or what I do or anything. So then it made me actually start to think about it and try and answer it for you. Boy, if you guys have any other questions that are going to make my head spin, <laughs> why don't you leave them in the comments here? <laughs> I'll do my best to answer them in an upcoming video.